all right today let's understand the concept of s3 pre-sign url we'll be implementing the hands-on in a while the entire architecture diagram straight from the scratch but let's uh, before uh, proceeding with the hands-on we need to understand the theory concept how it works and what it is so pre-sign url uh, is kind of provides temporary access to files right by default we know s3 objects are private that being said, if we try to access the objects from our web browser, it won't open, right? So how do we open it for a period of time, time duration? We need pre-sign URL. So please remember, yes, the pre-sign URL is associated with temporary access. It is not permanent access. We need to define the expiration time or the duration, how long we need the access. This is very key point of pre-signed URL. Next important thing is that uh, why do we need it? What is the significance of pre-signed URL? So we can share some files with the users securely who don't have uh, permissions to the bucket. Uh, we know one S3 bucket uh, may have uh, many objects there. We want to share specific objects. Let's say there are 100 objects. Uh, we need to share just uh, one object with them or two objects. We can generate pre-signed URL share the url and they will be able to uh, view the file or uh, uh, check it out in their web browser and now uh, let's dive into the hands-on we have the architecture diagram so as uh, mentioned since pre-signed url is associated with s3 bucket our first things will be to create s3 bucket upload file i'll be demonstrating s3 pre-signed url using both AWS console as well as Cloud Shell, which is useful for AWS developers and sysop admin as well because we need to be familiar about the commands. So I'm in the AWS console. Let's uh, go here in S3. Now our first step is to create one bucket. Let's click on create bucket. Let's give one unique name to our bucket. So I'll give it Cloud Guru Amit pre-sign URL because I'm demonstrating demo of pre-signed URL. So it should be unique. Otherwise my bucket creation will be a problem. I'll be keeping everything as default. Block all public access by default. Everything I'll, I'll keep it as it is. I'll just click uh, create bucket. All right now my bucket got instantly uh, created now. I'll just open the bucket. I have um, some files on my local computer. That is I have two PNG file. I'll be demonstrating one file. Cloud Guru Amit, this I'll be demonstrating using AWS console, how we can assign pre-signed URL and uh, the uh, this is also an uh, Amit PNG file, uh, which uh, is a picture of me again. I'll be demonstrating this using the CLI, the same thing, right? In uh, both ways, we need to be familiar how pre-signed URL works. Let's click on upload. First, I'll be uh, showing you the hard way that is using the CLI. Uh, how can we do it? Let's click on add files. So here we go with the uh, files. I'll browse the one of the file that is Amit, uh, which contains my image. This is a PNG file again. Uh, I'll be demonstrating it using Cloud Cell. Let's first upload this file. The upload succeeded. It uh, looks good. Now let me go to the uh, bucket here. So in the bucket, uh, I can see the file here, but uh, let me um, try to um, copy the URL and uh, maybe paste in the uh, uh, browser whether it works or not so i can see the access denied message here right uh, because we know uh, from the theory concept that uh, s3 objects are by default private right now let's say i want uh, someone to give access to this uh, png file someone uh, uh, outside let's say um, needs um, uh, this png file like uh, uh, can be uh, our friends as well right i want to share this file uh, which is present in s3 how do we do it let's uh, go the harder way first that is i'll use cloud shell it's uh, up here cloud shell let's click here it will take some time for the cloud shell to warm up until the time uh, it uh, gets uh, warmed up i'll be uh, let's dive into the command here the syntax goes the pre-sign url uh, we need to enter the bucket name then the file name right and then the expiration time 60 is in seconds so it will be valid for one minute uh, your friend will be having one minute to download or view the file after that again the access will be denied 
access will be revoked right so uh, here i can see uh, i need to change the bucket name because uh, this syntax goes bucket name uh, let's uh, copy paste the uh, bucket here i go uh, with the bucket name let me copy it and uh, let me uh, paste here uh, with the bucket uh, name i need to give the exact word by uh, word name let me open one notepad so now it looks good i have put the bucket name and the file name is amit.png how do we know it because that's uh, what uh, file we had if i move it down here amit.png exact exactly the same i have written now looks good i'll uh, just keep this ready till cloud shell is up uh, this looks good i have uh, copied this uh, now let me open here i think i am already in cloud shell let's see is preparing let's wait for a while till our cloud shell is ready so i think cloud shell is ready i'll type the pwd that is the path command so looks good uh, let me paste this command and now let me hit enter all right it generate one url this is valid for just 60 seconds or one minute i need to be fast i'll just copy this and um, uh, paste it in a browser let's paste here the url technically yeah my pick is appearing you see now my friend will be able to view this file please note this is uh, active for just one minute because i have uh, given the command if you look here expires in 60 60 is nothing but in seconds if you want to increase the timing um, like um, one hour or something uh, 3600 or something anything seconds uh, you can give right one day or something whatever uh, you need so please make sure to give the exact um, uh, timing because after one minute this uh, file whatever we are seeing here right it won't be available i'll just keep uh, hitting refresh now yeah and see uh, it, it it's in the access got denied now because it it passed one minute that uh, please note uh, this is the significance of s3 uh, pre-signed url as uh, mentioned in the um, theory concept as well that is we need to specify the expiration time right so the expiration time i have set to 60 seconds that's why uh, after 60 seconds uh, the image got uh, denied uh, right um, so uh, we are uh, we are able to successfully test this concept shared securely with users who don't have permission to access the bucket directly right so uh, that's how uh, we have done now let's uh, try the other way uh, the easier way uh, we have seen this using cloud shell now let's uh, try using aws console directly so uh, let's upload a fresh file i'll click on upload here let's add files here i got another pick of me cloud guru amit let's browse this file uh, let's quickly hit upload let's upload this uh, file now so my file got uh, successfully uploaded now let's go to my bucket so here uh, using aws console it's very easy it's just a click of a button uh, i'll just select whatever object is required uh, then i'll go to actions here i have share with pre-signed url let's click on it and here uh, the interface is very very user friendly i need to enter the uh, uh, duration in minutes now so previously uh, using cloud shell have made it 60 seconds now 60 seconds is equivalent to one minute right so i'll just uh, give it one minute for temporary uh, demonstration let's click create pre-signed url so it says pre-signed uh, uh, URL PNG has been created and copy to your clipboard. I can click here, copy pre-signed URL. Let me paste it quickly in a web browser. And technically my PNG file should be visible now. It's appearing. Um, the more web uh, friendly, uh, web page friendly compression is there, the more quickly the file will appear. My file is around 3.4 MB. Depending upon the internet speed and all, it will it varies so i can see my file right um, any of my uh, friends I, where i want to share the file they will be able to and now view my files and please note as mentioned this is again valid for just one minute after one minute uh, it won't be uh, visible so let's uh, wait for uh, just a few minutes um, a few seconds i mean uh, whenever we'll be hitting refresh see one minute passed and the access got denied 
So that's how uh, the concept of uh, pre-signed URL works. So uh, we have successfully tested this uh, theory concept that S3 objects remain private. That's why after the expiration time, again, the uh, object got private and we are unable to view in the web browser, right? So this concept we have tested temporary access. We have tested 60 seconds. We have mentioned, right? Expiration time or 60 seconds or one minute. This concept we have tested and useful for private objects where we don't want users uh, to have permissions directly to the bucket. We can share uh, the whatever files we have, we have done. So we have successfully implemented architecture diagram this thing end to end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, you found this tutorial regarding pre-signed URL helpful and you will implement in your real life IT project as well.